A research team at the University of Pittsburgh have created a mind-controlled robotic arm for 53-year-old Jan Schuerman, who is paralyzed from the neck down. Schuerman spoke of how happy she was to be able to move things again. I just can't stop smiling. It's so cool. I'm moving things. I have not moved things for about 10 years. Schuerman explains how easy the arm is to manipulate after practice. I used to have to think up, uh, clockwise, down, forward, back. Now I just look at the target and Hector goes there. It's not a matter of thinking which direction anymore. It's just I want to do that and my brain knows what things to move to make that happen. The robotic arm is called a Brain Computer Interface, or BCI. Using a computer algorithm, the system accurately translates brain signals into actions, one of the biggest challenges in mind-controlled prosthetics. It was developed by Dr. Andrew Stewart and a research team from the University of Pittsburgh School of Medicine, and an operation was needed to fit the arm. The surgery went about as smoothly as I could have hoped, and, and I think that really I held my breath until she was out of the hospital and at the rehab hospital where we had the opportunity to hook her up. I think it was post-up day two. And um, we said, okay, now imagine wiggling your thumb. And of course, we're all expecting to just hear fuzz. And instead, what we hear is that rush of the neurons coming and then activating again for each time she imagines wiggling her thumb. Professionals have been amazed by the results and say it's a great step forward for prosthetics controlled directly by the brain. After completing a task uh, in a time that's close to what I could complete that task in, and you think, wow, how do we, we, have to, we just have to take the next steps where we can make this a clinical tool, not a research one. In the meantime, Schuerman is taking time to enjoy her newfound freedom.